Good evening, guys. So today we're going to discuss about the uh, our lesson, brief discussion about our lesson in the subject of OP. Okay. So again, what is a Python? So Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level programming language. We say interpreted because it has an interpreter, which in terms of code they can write or you can write and understood by a processor or by a computer processor okay object oriented because it can create object both data and function and this python it is a high level programming language it was created by guido van ronsom and released in 1991 why we use python Definitely, Python is easy to understand, can create the following web application for data science and data visualization, machine learning, script for availability testing. Uh, for the requirements in the subject of OP, uh, we will going to use the Python 3.9 for Institute Interpreter, text editor, uh, I will use PyCharm in, my, in our subject, okay? If you have a other text editor in a Python, you can use that online or onlinegdb.com. Uh, you will see that the, how to use the online GDB in our LMS. Okay. Now, how to execute Python code? Uh, we're going to use the IDLE, is Python Trinity Development and Learning Management, execute by a command line Windows, known as the PyCharm or PyCharm, then creating it python file okay now in python we use indentation indentation python uses indentation to indicate code blocks so for example if a is equals to one colon print yes in a python we use indentation in java we use in uh, open curly bracket okay but in python uh they omit the a curly bracket so it will really understood uh, it to indicate the next statement or line okay so indentation is very important in python okay so variables so when you say variables are containers for storing data values so a variable is created the moment you assign a value to it so example is name is equals to grace or age is equals to 40 we have some basic data types of a Python. The types of data stored in variable is string, integer, float, boolean, and bytes. Okay, so let's first create a sample program using these variables. Okay, <coughs> okay let's make some example. So I will going to use this uh, PyCharm. So example type A. Is equals to six, okay. Then B is equals to sample. We use uh, gaze, okay. 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 Then C is equals to sample uh, 1.0. Then <coughs> D, we use uh, sample true. Okay. Then we're going to print, print A. Just copy paste this one. Change this. B. Okay. C. And this one is D. Okay. <coughs> let's try. Okay. So this A, let's put some uh, 
comments here. Sample. Going to put some comments. I'm going to use the sharp. Hashtag. Uh, X is a. Is. Op, X is of type. Is a. Type. Integer. So X is a type of integer. Hashtag X is of type string. So this is a string variable. This one is hashtag is so it is so hashtag is hashtag is for example type of is in, is of so type float so it's a type of float and then the other one hashtag is of type boolean okay let's try this let's run so I will just use this to run the program. Okay. Okay, notification. Let's use this. Then run. So as you can see, we have six for the type of variable in the chair. For the string, we have grace. And for the float, we have 1.0. And for the boolean, we have the true. Okay. So this, which means this. Uh, variable A has a integer of 6, variable B has a string of grace, variable C has a float of 1.0, and, and a variable D has a boolean of true. So we use this print to display all of this uh, variable A, B, C, and D. This is how to create a, how to create a variable using this uh, using this python okay so you're going to use this going to create a variable for your activity number one for your first program in a and so on in a subject call this is how to declare a variable okay so we have a so the next one is uh, casting. So what do you mean by casting? So casting is a converting one data type into another. It's known as casting. So meaning to say, uh, if we declare into integer for the first our variable, then to this to the last the printout is will be it will concatenate the casting of a string. So for example, is x is equals to integer uh, with the value of ten, then print number is concatenate plus str or x so we mean to say this number number is will be the string value so x equals to 10 y is equals to 10 then print integer x plus integer y so let's try so let's delete this let's try Let's try how to use the concatenate x so it equals to sample integer with the value of 10 okay then print and concatenate print number number is okay number is <coughs> Concatenate the str. Concatenate the str x. No x. Where is the x? X. Okay. Okay. Then y is equals to value of ten. Then. Then this. Y. So this is X. Well, 
this will be the x value. I'm sorry, this will be the x. This will be um, 10 also. Then print integer x <coughs> integer y let's try if it, if the constant thing will be run it will run it will convert one data type into another known as casting it will convert let's run it so so the number is 10 so this line the number is declared into string because we cast we cast the integer value of x into string so in our output it display the number is 10 so this display in this number this line display into a string then x equals to 10 this is also a string and for the last line last line 5 it display it adds the the x and y so it it produce an integer data types okay so the number is 10 number is 10 so in the next line is equivalent to 20 okay this is how when we use a casting in converting one data type into another okay the next one is the info function so how do you know how can we create an info function in a python for let's try again okay how can we input how can we use this input body so we're going to type the name sample name okay name then input input uh input example um, enter name okay then uh, email email example input input uh, enter email enter email then, then print, print name. Then how can we use the input? command in the python email email okay then email. let's turn then address add input Put address. Enter address. Enter address. Okay. So and print. So tired. Then print address. Okay.
Okay. Let's try this one. Let's try. There's a third name. So we'll put up the name here. Okay, let's try. Enter address, enter your birthday. Let's try. Mm, birthday. Birthday. Input. Enter your birthday. Birthday. Okay. What else? Print. Print birthday. Try so enter your name, please. Follow and the email, rainy day. Address, and address, with city. Birthday zero one zero one zero one so this one better really during the interview mail pass it to the one thousand so this is how to use the input name input function okay so this program we're going to create this programs on your uh, editor on your PyCharm or on the online GDB then you're going to submit this to me in our LMS okay thank you for watching bye